Rise among the blessed praises of our King. Rise among us, let it rise. to me let us go into the house of the Lord for this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. We thank yes. God yes. that he has allowed us to be here over the last not only the last Sunday of the year but the last day of the year. Yes. For that we give God yes. praise. Yes. We come today to celebrate. We yes. come to worship. Yes. We come to participate. Yes. We come to spectate. Yes. Because God has been yes. and he is so good to yes. us. Let us pray, God, our Father, we thank you today for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your presence and your power. Father, we thank you for allowing us to be in this place one more time. That you've allowed us to gather ourselves in your house. At Mount Pleasant Baptist Church on this, the last Sunday and the last day of the year. For that, God, we say thank you. Now, Father, we pray that your presence and your power will continue to invade this place, that we will continue to abide in this place, that we as a people will open up our hearts and allow you to come in because, Father, we have so much to thank you for. We have so much to praise you for. We have so much to celebrate you for, Father. For, Lord, you have been so good to us. You are good and you will continue to be good. So, Father, we pray that you will anoint the messages you have sent here today. Yeah. Anoint them up fresh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus and you yeah. crucified. And then, Father, our hearts 
and minds yes. will be receptive yes. to what your word has to say. Yes. Yes. And Father, that we will not only be hearers, but we will be doers as well. Yes. That your word will convince, convict, convert, and challenge us. Yes. That Jesus Christ is the way, yes. the truth, and the life. Yes. Now, Lord, when we come to the end of this worship experience, we pray that we will leave better going out than we were coming in. Yes. In the marvelous and matchless name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Let us all say amen. 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 You may be seated. We are thankful again that God has allowed us to be back in his house amen. Amen. one more time. Yes. We are here on December the 31st because of something so good and so great that we yeah. have done. But it was his grace and yeah. it was his mercy. Yeah. Amen. Because the truth be told, all of us have not dotted every I and have not crossed yeah. every T. Yeah. But we thank God for yeah. his grace yes. and his mercy. Yes. Yes. No doubt his hand stopped. His finger stopped at our name of many a time. But he said, I'm going to give them another chance. Yes, so for yes. that, we need to be thankful. Right, Lord. Lord. We need to be grateful for yes, what all yes. that God has done yes, and yes. is doing for us. Amen. 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 We come today to celebrate because we have a reason and a right to celebrate him. Yes. Yes. Amen. We have a reason and a right to celebrate him. Yes. At this time, we're going to have our announcements and we will move further in our worship experience. Yes. Tomorrow, Larry Terry Baba will have a birthday. Amen. Now, Pleasant will worship this evening at 7 o'clock at Deep Cabin Church on their watch night service, and Pastor Sanders is the guest speaker. Amen. Pastor Deacons and Trustee meeting Saturday at 11 o'clock in the Fellowship Hall. I have wall calendars, pocket calendars, and daily uh, bread. Would like it. Uh, everything starts tomorrow. So I do have it. Food giveaway will be January the 20th from 9 to 11. Mount Pleasant will host the athletes of Roosevelt High School the fourth Sunday in January. Mount Pleasant will host the athletes of Roosevelt High School on the fourth Sunday in January. Do we have any visitors this morning? It's giving time. Amen. Amen. It's giving time as we come to give to God what all of it, as I say, all of it belongs to him. But all he asks of us is 10%. Amen. Amen. All he asks of us is 10%. And God, as I, you've heard me say repeatedly, God can do more with that 10% than we can do with 100%. Amen. 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 
He's just that kind of God. It doesn't take much for him to work things out in our lives. Let us stand. Let us pray, God, Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for this moment that you've given us to worship you through our tithes and our offerings. We pray, Father, that we have come giving of you, knowing that you are a God who is true to your word. So, Father, we pray today as we bring our gifts, our offering, our tithes and our offering to you, that you will bless and multiply as only you can. That you will bless us as individuals and bless us as a corporate body as well. That what we bring to you today will be used for, for your kingdom. And Father, as we bring to you, we pray that you will allow us to even bring even more to you in the days, the weeks, the months, and years to come. Now, Lord, we ask these and all other blessings in your son Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. 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 Let us bring our offering, starting from the rear. Let us bring our offering. Amen. Amen.
Today, children, our scripture, our memory verse for today is Luke, the second chapter, verses 20, verse 26. And when you get a chance, you can read the story that the lesson is about in Luke, second chapter, verses 22 through 40. But we, our focus today is on the 26th verse. And it says, it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit, that he would not die before he had seen the Lord Jesus Christ. See, tomorrow will be the beginning of a new year. Amen. If we're blessed to see it. Amen. Everyone start their new calendars on their cell phones or physical calendar at home or plan or journal, whatever it is. It's symbolic. The old is gone. You can't use that anymore. Amen. And the new has come. So we make some of us, not all of us, I don't do it as often. We start out making resolutions. And basically all that's saying, we're making a promise to ourselves that we're going to do something. Whether we're going to stop doing it, we're going to do it better, right. or we're not going to do it at all. Amen. You know, that's, it's more directed toward us. It's not out where we're talking to someone else. These are promises and decisions that we make for, our, yes, for right. ourselves. Now, some of them to get you thinking, like I will watch less TV and get more exercise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for all of us, should be practiced at all times. And you, when you all are uh, teenagers and you get old and I got new drivers, don't move your car until everybody has the seatbelt. Amen. Amen. You know, that's how we shut it down. Mom would get in the car with me. We're not, Grandma, we got to get to school. We're not going anywhere. We're not ready. Yes, we are. We're in the car. I don't see some seatbelts missing. We're not moving until everybody's strapped in. Amen. Okay, Amen. so some, some rules, some things that we say for ourselves. Now, some may be younger and they would clean up their rooms and put their toys away, they'd make a decision without mama having to tell them. And also, can we? How about being nice to your siblings? <laughs> that might be a little hard. <laughs> you know, we can be nice to other people, but when they come to their brother and their sister, like, hmm, I don't have to be nice to them. But yes, being nice to our brothers and our sisters, because so usually we are the ones that clash most of all. Good God, my, my brother and I, we clash so much, Jesus, and we got beat so much, Jesus. <laughs> so being nice to that, being nice to Jacob, that would be nice. Also, some with this generation, especially, maybe reduce the amount of time, especially young men. I don't think the, I don't think the girls are quite as bad yet. Uh, video games, but social media is the go to. Now, which one is your favorite? TikTok. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> uh, those are my, my, my granddaughters. That's her favorite as well. The guys, the boys, all of them, video games. So, can you think of some other resolution that you may make for yourself, for Gabby, just for you? that are not on the list that I just did. Saving your money. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's all of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all, well, listen. 
I like to shop at it. So, you know, back in the day, it wasn't buying candy was the money. Now it's buying shoes. <laughs> buying, you know, a purse, yeah. like hell. <clears throat> <laughs> See, as we get older, our challenges get big, bigger. The price tag on our challenges, our financial challenges get bigger. But yes, yes, saving your money. That's why, that's something you can take all the way through an adult life. But if we don't, and these promises that we make to ourselves, if we don't follow through, sometimes we might think that it's, it's not a big, a big deal. It's my promise, so I'm not going to worry about it. But it is a big deal. You see, we have to realize that a promise is a promise. And it's important for us to keep promises, even if those promises are just to ourselves. Because if we learn to start learning to break promises, we'll break them to ourselves. We'll break them to those who depend on us. And eventually, we'll break those promises to God. So once you, if your best thing to do is don't even do it, don't even make it. If you don't think it's really coming from your heart, you know, say, I'm going to try and do such and such, but don't try and make a promise that you know you have no intention of keeping. <clears throat> I'm going to lose 40 pounds this year, that kind of stuff. <laughs> 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 See, the Bible tells us about it. A very important promise God made to his people. Thankfully, God is always faithful in keeping his promises. We, we learn in the Bible about a man, and this man, his name is Simeon. Simeon was a very old man who had waited his whole life to see God's promise come to himself and to the people of his time. God had promised to send him and all of us a Messiah, a Savior of the world. And God promised Simeon that he would not die until he had seen this promised Messiah. So a few days after Jesus was born, according to the customs, the Jewish customs of that time, Mary and Joseph took him, took Jesus to the temple, dedicated to God. And Simeon was in the temple as usual. As soon as he saw that baby, he knew God had kept his promise. And Simeon took Jesus in his arm and he praised God. By saying, Lord, now let your servant die in peace as you have promised. I have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all the people. And also, as God always confirmed things by multiple witnesses, also in that temple was another prophet. Her name was Anna. So we just didn't do it with the men. We had a lady, a woman in there as well. Anna was a prophet. And when she was there, she was always in the temple, always worshiping. Always there, fellowship. She was always at their temple worshiping and praying. And when she heard what Simeon was saying, his praising God, she ran and she told everyone that Jesus was the Savior and that God had fulfilled his promise. So tomorrow, as we begin a new year, let's remember that just as God is faithful in keeping his promises, we can be faithful in keeping our promise. Yeah. Okay. And why can we do that? Why do we know we can be faithful in keeping our promises? Because God can help us keep the promises that we make from our heart. If it's not made from your heart, let it go. But if it's made from your heart and it's something that you desire to do that would glorify and honor God, that is the right thing, then God will enable you to do it. And for children like you are, not following the world, doing what you know is right, doing what you can do, uh, doing your schoolwork, being obedient to your parents, being careful who you hang around with, mm -hmm. being careful who you listen to, <coughs> you know, being careful with who you follow, mm -hmm. being kids who have not listened sometimes or gotten into a world of trouble. So much trouble that mom and daddy didn't even get you out of it. Only the grace of God can bring you through this. So use wisdom. Use wisdom. If you're young, you can use it. You don't have to follow everybody. But make a promise to yourself that you're going to do your best for daddy and not 
was there with somebody else who's telling that what she needs to do. That excludes your grandparents and then your mama and them. Okay. What they tell you is the best thing for you. But those little friends over there kind of tell you how to do things and run that, you know, no. they don't know any more than you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you need wisdom, baby. There's a lot of temptation out there. What promise would you like to make? Tell me, you don't have to tell the church, you don't have to tell anybody else. What promise would you like to make to God today? That's what you need to talk to God about. Now I pray. Dear God, just as you're faithful to keep your promises, help us to be faithful in keeping our promises to you. Help us remember that we can count on you no matter what to keep your word. We thank you for our Savior Jesus. We thank you that he died in our place to deliver us from our sins. And Lord, we love you, we bless you. And we thank you that tomorrow, if you allow us to see you today, Father, go with these children, cover them and protect them, watch over them, hedge them in, oh God, in every way. Protect our children from the seen and the unseen. Yes, the voices that are not of you, silence them. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we know you can do it. Yes. And Lord, we are leaning and depending on you to do it. Yes. Because we cannot be with them every moment of every day. Yes. But we know that you can. Yes. And Lord, we trust you with their lives. Yes. We trust you with their yes. purpose. Yes. We trust you with your plans for them. We trust you, oh God, to keep them. In Jesus' mighty name. And we thank you for it. Yes. We you. consider our children blessed yes. in the name, in of, the name Jesus. of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Amen. 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 This time we come to the point of our service where we get ready to hear from the Lord. And today we have one of our own. Amen. 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 Laura Coleman, who's going to come and bring the word of God for us today. Amen. So give her your undivided attention. Give her your amens. Amen. 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 Because if there was ever a time we needed the word, now is the time. Amen. 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 Some crucial and some critical times, and the only thing that is going to bring us over and bring us through is the Word of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Yes, yes. So, after reading a scripture and a song, the next speaking, preaching voice you will hear will be that of Reverend Laura Coleman. Amen. 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 Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11 will be our scripture reading for the morning, and we have found it in a standing reverence to the reading of His Word. Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. And it reads, And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had, when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came 
and fill both the ships so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished at all that were with him at the drought of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. God's Amen. word for God's people. Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Oh, man. 
Yes. yes. I give honor to God and the Amen. Trinity, to Pastor Sanders and Amen. Pastor Murdoch and all the other ministers Amen. that are present. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Sanders, for giving me this opportunity. Amen. Amen. I am truly grateful. Amen. Amen. We've already heard the scripture, but I would like to lift, lift up Luke 5, uh, chapter verse 4. Chapter 5, verse 4. Amen. And it says, when he had stopped speaking, mm -hmm. he said to Simon, launch out into the deep mm -hmm. and let down your nets for a catch. Amen. Amen. Let us right. pray. Father, I thank you, God. Yes, Lord, yes. you've given me a word. Yes. 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 Father, you gave it to me for a reason. Yes. Yes. I'm going to hide me behind the cross so the so congregation of yes. people yes. will see yes. you, God. Yes. Yes. So yes. God. Open yes. up ears that they may hear and yes. eyes that they will understand, God, yes. in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. Break their hearts, Father, yes. Yes. that they will hear the, hear the word yes. and hear what you have to say. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Use me to your glory. Amen. 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 Come on, come on. Yes. Be the same. Hallelujah. Again. Yes, yes. It will never. Relationship with 
him. Yes. Amen. That's right. He's always speaking through the word or a sermon or situations and, and people, and he's waiting for our response. Amen. Yeah. That's right. The scripture says that Jesus was preaching on the shore of the sea That's of right. Galilee. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And great crowds was gathered all around him to listen to the word of God. In other words, they were all up on it. Yeah. 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 You see, Jesus went there on an assignment. Yeah. 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 He don't do nothing without being on an assignment. Yeah. 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 This was where he was to choose his first disciples. Uh -huh. yeah. That's right. When he got there. Uh -huh. yeah. The Bible said the fishermen was washing their nets. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They had been fishing all night long. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. And hadn't caught a thing. Yeah. 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 Jesus noticed two empty boats sitting by the shore. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Tell me that he got over in the boat. Uh -huh. And he told Simon to push it out. Uh -huh. yeah. Into the water. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. He sat down in the boat and, and he began to teach the crowd. Uh -huh. yeah. right. uh, kind of like first thing first. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. But watch this. Yeah. When he had finished speaking, when he had finished ministering uh, to the people, in other words, when your healing came. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Come on, somebody. Yeah. 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 When you saw your prayer being answered. Yes, yes, God. Good God Almighty. Yeah. Yeah. When you don't look like what you've been through, Nick. Say so. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes, God. Jesus yes, God. said, now go out yes. where it's deep. Yes. Yes. That's, what he said. That's what he told Simon there. He said, he had preached the word. He said, now go out yeah. where it's a little deeper yeah. and, and throw down. Your name. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He said, I'm about to teach you how to fish for some meat. What does that have to do with us? Yeah. Mm. I'm glad you asked. Yeah. <laughs> Church, it's time to leave your comfort zone on the shore. Yeah. 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 That's right. Jesus told Peter, it's time to leave your comfort zone and get out of the shallow water and push away. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sure. Uh -huh. Throw out your nets again. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Try it again. Don't give up. Uh, take your boat out into some deeper water and let down your nets yeah. for an overflow. Yeah. 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 Just like us. Yeah. Jesus tell us something to do and we want to argue about it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, Lord, Lord, we've been out there all night long. Uh -huh. All night long, and we know yeah. we already know you fish at night. Yeah. When you gonna catch some fish? We've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus ain't said nothing. Peter, Peter complained about it, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but he didn't stay there long. Yeah. Undoubtedly, what Jesus had been preaching, teaching to the people, it had pricked uh -huh. Peter's heart. Uh -huh. yeah. Undoubtedly, that's what happened. Peter didn't, he didn't argue with him long. He said, nevertheless. He said, regardless of how I feel about what you want me to do, regardless of what you telling me to do, regardless of how I feel, nevertheless. If you say, then I will obey your word and, and go out into the deeper water. Yeah. And let down my net and catch some fish. Oh, yeah. uh, church, the message Jesus was teaching here was not really about fish. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, come on, somebody. Uh -huh. That's right. It was about something greater. Uh -huh. okay. From the moment Jesus saw Peter, James, and John, uh -huh. Andrew was out there too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Washing their nets, Jesus knew they were the ones. That he could use for a greater service. Come on, somebody. What I'm trying to say, whatever you're going through, Jesus already knew how he can use you. He just needs you to push away from the shore. 
Amen. See, God wants to use us in a greater way when we learn to take him at his word and obey it. Yeah. Yeah. Even when it's uncomfortable. Yes. Yes. That's right. Because he wants a deeper relationship with you. Yeah. That's right. Jesus has new assignments, yeah. yes. ministries, yes. challenges, and opportunities for us. Yeah. But they are not on the show. Yes. 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 You might be willing to lunch out in the deep and trust Jesus with the results, but the discomfort, yeah. that discomfort zone, yes. is right. where the blessings are. Yes. That discomfort zone yes. is where your blessings are. Yes. Yes. God speak through the pastor every Sunday, and if he tells you something, you ought to be listening for it. Amen. Because he's telling you something. Amen. Your blessing is when it feels discomfort. Yes. Yes. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Jesus wants us to go beyond our comfort zone. Yes. Yes. Comfort can cause resistance to yes. change. Yes. Yes. But Jesus wants us to change. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. He want us to do that. Comfort can confuse us sometimes. Yes. 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 Influencing us to believe that, that we have no need to get better. Amen. Y'all want to say that. Say that. Y'all want to hear that. Yes. 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 It can lead you to believe that you have no reason to get yes. better Amen. than you are right now. Amen. Now I didn't say you're not going to help. You got saved, but your comfort zone. Yeah. See, Jesus stepped out of his comfort zone. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. He chose the greatest of his disciples because they left their comfort zone. Yeah. Yeah. But watch this. Right. See, Peter yeah. Yeah. was faithful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Come on, he, he, he had a, a remedy here. Yeah. Yeah. And John was about that look. Yeah. Yeah. James had some wisdom. Y'all don't care what I'm saying. See, Peter was the one that got down and, and walked on the wall. Yes. As long as he kept his eyes yes. on Jesus. Yes. Yes. See, Peter was the one that denied yes. good God uh, uh, yes. And here comes John. Uh, the uh, one that didn't look. Uh, yes. Tell me John was at the black one at the corner. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And then we got James. Uh -huh. James had wisdom. Uh -huh. Wasn't afraid yeah. of giving that word. Yeah. Yeah. When he went to heal the little girl, yeah. he took Peter, yeah. James, and John. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. When he raised right. Peter, James, and John. Yeah. At the transfiguration, Peter. James and John. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. When he went to pray about it, yeah. oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah. He took Peter, James and John. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good God of mine. Yeah. Why did he do that? Yeah. Because he had something greater, greater for them to do. Yeah. 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 You got to go beyond your comfort zone. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to take yeah. In Jesus' own words, yeah. he said, follow me. Yeah. Jesus' life is saying to us, I yeah. went beyond yeah. Woo! Yeah. my comfort zone. Yeah. 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 Church, he did it yeah. Yeah. just for you. Yeah. Yeah. Good God, my yeah. for you, he said, I gave up yeah. the comforts of glory yeah. to come down here. Yeah. For you, I gave up the comfort zone high to cure all of your problems down here. Yes. I'm yes. just trying to tell you uh, if you've been going through something, uh, the Bible said uh, for you, uh, one thing that Jesus did, uh, he took all uh, of those stripes, uh, he took uh, all of his back uh, so that you might be here. Uh, he gave up uh, his comfort on uh, for you, he put aside royalty yes. with the Father, uh -huh. yes. so that you might be royal priests yes. yes. and children yes. of the living king. He yes. did that just for you. Yes. Uh, yes. You move beyond your comfort zone. Yes. He said, I laid uh, down my life. Yes. Uh, I did it uh, just for you. Yes. Uh, now you can move out of your comfort zone. Yes. Uh, he said, uh, I went up that door, God, to 
deal. I carried a cross yeah. on my back. Yeah. Yeah.
to do what God. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, God. We like call you. Amen. Yes. Yes. He's calling you for great. Great. But you got to be with Jesus. That's right. To step yes. out of your comfort zone. Yes. That's right. Amen. Y'all know we got one. We sit in the same spot. We do the same thing. We park in the same place. We go to the same place. We got to step out. Push away from the sugar. Push away. So you told Simon, push it out there. So everybody can hear what I got to say. Amen. See, they all up on me. I, 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 I can't get it out the way it's supposed to be. Hey, push it away. Push, push it away. away. From the shore. Yes, God. Amen. 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 And he Amen. spoke. Yes. The word. That's right. See, he just didn't go down there and get them boys <laughs> and tell them to come on. Yes. 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 He taught them first. Yes, Amen. Amen. yes. See, this is your teaching time. Uh -huh. He taught them first. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Won't go to Baxter. Jesus. Won't go to Sunday school. Jesus. He taught him first. Amen. And then he come. Uh, taught him. Uh, fed him. Yes. Then he come. Mm. Jesus. How to do it all the night. Fuck him. Good God on my God. Church, we got to push away. Yes. From the shore. Amen. That's what we got to do. Okay. And follow Jesus. Amen. 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 Greater works. Amen. Stop thinking about Jesus. Because to follow Jesus, Amen. you got to deny yes. right. yourself. Yes. Right. And follow him. Right. You got to do that. Amen. You got to be willing. Mm -hmm. To give up some stuff. That's yeah. right. Amen. Amen. You got to be willing to do that. Mm -hmm. Because God got a work for you to do. Yes. Amen. Everything that you do, everywhere that you go, there's an opportunity mm -hmm. to get out of your comfort zone. Right. Mm -hmm. You out there working, <laughs> you can spread it. Amen. People you meet, you can spread the word. Amen. Hope you run up on those are opportunities. Those are, there's always an opportunity. Because of what he has done for you. Amen. And what he is going to do. Why we can't have that? Why we can't have that that one Sunday that Holy Spirit took over and we had that that worship. Yeah, that's right. That worship. That's right. Because we released, we let it rent. And we just praised God. Amen. We just praised God. We got out of our comfort zone. We didn't mind raising our hands. We didn't mind standing up. We didn't care about Willa sitting beside me. We didn't care about that. That's right. We got out. Of the comfort zone. Amen. Amen. And gave God everything that we had. We laid it all on the table. Amen. That's Jesus. right. Jesus. See, that's how you get out your comfort zone. Amen. You got to lay it all <coughs> on the table. Right. And give God everything Amen. that you got. Amen. That's what you call letting Him know yeah. that you're great. Amen. 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 For everything, everything Amen. that he has done. Amen. 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 Repeat after me. Mm. I'm going to reach beyond. I'm going to reach beyond my comfort zone. My comfort zone. For Jesus. For Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
songwriter singing. Yeah. But it's going to be all right right now. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He's getting us ready yeah. for that great day. Yeah. 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 Right now, right now, God. 
When you make it to glory, that's who you're going to be then. He's just going to perfect Amen. that person that you are now. I heard the songwriter say, this is just a rehearsal. But it was a profound word of God. I'm going to praise him with everything that I have. While I have a chance. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for everything that has been said, that has been done. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Lord, I thank you that, that your word fell on good ground. And you, God, were given an increase in due season. Now, Heavenly Father, one came for one thing and one came for another. Not my business, why? It's yours, God. Heavenly Father, touch the hearts and minds of these people. Yes. Give them renewed minds, God, and, 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 and a just right spirit, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, we thank you right now. Lord, touch in a miraculous way. Only you, God, knows the heart. Only you knows the intents of it. Oh, God, touch. Create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit in us, God. Heavenly Father, we came to the altar because we want to lay it out on the table. Lord, because we know that you, God, are waiting. You're a healer. You're a mind revelator. You're a heart fixer. Heavenly Father, you've given us hands that you said whatsoever we touch yes. will be blessed. Yes. You've given us feet, God, so that we can walk and go in places that you want yes. us to go. Yes. Lead us. Lead us, God. Lead us, God. Yes. Where you will have us to go. Yes. Open up our eyes, God, so we can see where we need to be used. Yes. Lord, we thank you right now. Yes. Lord, as we come down to this last Sunday, this last day of 2023, yes. we may not even make it yes. to 2024. Yes. Lord, we just want to know that, that, that you, God, yes. will be waiting for us. Yes. Yes. Lord, we thank you right now. Yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you, dear God. Yes. Lord, we ask you to use us to yes. your glory, God. Yes. Give us a boldness that we never have ever seen. Yes. Let us use our hands and our, yes. our voice, our mouth to worship yes. Yes. in spirit and in truth. Yes. Let us lay aside every way, every sin yes. that's so easily beset yes. so that we can run this race yes. that you have set before us with patience. Yes. Give us understanding. Yes. Allow us, God, to push yes. away yes. from the shoreline. Yes. Allow us, dear God, to get out of our comfort zone. Yes. You got out of yours. Yes. Allow us to get out of ours. Yes. So that we can give you a glory. Ooh, hallelujah. Yes. God, we thank you right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you, Father. We thank you for our taxi call in the name of Jesus. Yes. His wife. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Yes. Continue to feed him with your Holy Spirit yes. so that we may be able to receive yes. what your Spirit yes. has to say to us. Yes. God, we thank you. Thank you. Lord, we thank you for everything yes. that you've given us so far. Everything that you've done. Yes. We thank you that your son was born. We thank you that he died. We thank you that he rose. God, we thank you for that. And we thank you that he has our power. And now, God, we thank you that we can be in your kingdom of priesthood. Royal. God, we thank you. Lord, we thank you right now. God, we give you all the glory. If Father, you say so, share your word with me. It will be turning to your glory. To the next prosper and accomplish in the things where to be seen. God, we thank you for it. We cast 
Yeah. All of our cares. Yes. All of you. Yes. Because of who you are. Yes. Yes. In, yes. Jesus in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank God for the word. Amen. Amen. away from some family, some friends, and some folks. Yes. Say so. If you want the prosperity yes. that God has for us. Yes. When you push away, you see what happened. They had so many fish yes. broke the net. Yes. And the folks began to sink. Yes. Those are the kind of blessings I want from God. Amen. 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 We want those blessings, but we don't want to push away from the Thank shore to get those Thank blessings. God. Amen. But we thank God for what Reverend Coleman has given us, what God gave to her, and what she has given to us. Mount Pleasant, let's take it to heart. Amen. Let's take it to heart. Amen. We thank God for what we have witnessed and what we have experienced here this day. And we pray that those of our visitors who have been with us, we thank you for your presence with Amen. us. Amen. And we do consider it an honor and a privilege to have you here with us. And we Amen. pray that you will come and worship Amen. with us again at Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. So before our visitors leave today, Mount Pleasant, let's welcome them and let's thank them for them being here with us today. Amen. 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 Tonight Amen. at 7 o'clock, we will see you at Big Calvary Baptist Church as we go and preach out this old year and preach in the new year as we thank God for what he has done for us in 2023. Yes. Yes. Amen. We have so much to be thankful for. Yes. So let us come tonight, my pleasant. Let us come tonight at 7 o'clock at Big Calvary so we can thank God for what he has done for us yes. this year. Amen. 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 Final words of benediction from Reverend Cole. Amen. Thank you. To God be the glory. Amen. 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 Thank you for um, my friend Vanessa, my children, and, and, and uh, Miss Tony. <laughs> I was surprised to see Tony. Thank you. To God be the glory. We give God all the honor and praise for allowing us. Let everybody say yeah. Jesus and Heavenly Father, let us meet again Amen. before 2022. Amen. These are all the things we ask you in your Son Jesus' name. 